you guys think of Isaiah's hair? I did it with a blow dryer. <laughs> I look, it looks so fluffy on camera. Hey you, can I learn your flavor? It's brand new. Now it's in the paper. So for today's video, we're gonna be telling you guys how we've been together for so long and just like a few tips that you guys might want to use. So the first tip is communication. In a relationship, it's all about like talking to each other about how you feel and how the other person feels. Usually it's easier said than done, but it's really good to open up and like express how you feel about certain things or even just how you're doing on a daily basis because it makes a big difference. So something that me and Isaiah had trouble with is remembering things. So what we would do is like during the week, we would write down what we felt every day and yeah. then like it would turn into like weekly letters. Even though we were both really bad at communication, we were really good at like writing down our feelings. So yeah, letters are cute. It's a good way for communication in case you guys want to like practice communication, like if you're not there yet. It was a good way for us to at least start up like opening and communicating more. That's what I said. The second one is put yourself in their shoes. Me and Isaiah are the kind of people that like we're very friendly. Sometimes we get a little too close to the opposite sex. So in order for me to like make sure I'm keeping my distance between people I picture Isaiah doing whatever I'm doing to another girl if I'm like sitting like this with a guy and her shoulders are touching a little bit I would barf if I saw Isaiah doing that with a girl so like why would I do that I mean like I would never do that anyway but mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just giving an example a while ago I was in this phase where I was getting is easily irritated by every little thing um, especially from Jackie and instead of her getting annoyed by it she instead started to understand what, what I was going through because years ago before he was feeling like that I I was also going through that phase where I was getting annoyed by everything like everything Isaiah said I just got really irritated like I just wanted to punch him all the time but it's not because there was anything wrong with him it was just because I was going through my own thing and like my emotions were just all over the place so when Isaiah opened up to me about it I understood and I kind of felt that he was getting irritated a lot but I put myself in his shoes and when I was feeling like that I wouldn't want him to fight me back I would want him to understand number three the red and yellow shirts so so this thing helped me and Isaiah a lot and it's actually something that I came up with and I thought it was a really good method so I told Isaiah what it was so that way he can do it. So if you're wearing yellow you're in a good mood, if you're wearing red you're in a bad mood. Figuratively wearing the shirts, not like literally wearing shirts because I don't want them to think like oh, you're wearing red. So the rule is both partners can't be wearing the red shirt at the same time. If Isaiah is wearing the red shirt, meaning he's in a bad mood, that means that I can't let his bad mood affect me and make me in a bad mood. I have to put on the yellow shirt, meaning I have to be in a good mood and I have to help him put on his yellow shirt. So I have to help him feel better. But it's also vice versa, obviously. If, if she's in a bad mood, I'll put on the yellow shirt and try to take care of her as much as I can and uh, try to get her to open up and so we can communicate and figure out what, what's going on. Because if we're both wearing the red shirt, then who's gonna help us become happy? You know what I mean? Yeah, and like, we're just gonna be even worse. I don't wanna give him negative energy when he needs positive energy because we're a team. Number four, be their best friends. So being best friends, in my opinion, is like the biggest thing about a relationship. I thought like, it was communication. Um, and in my opinion, it's what made me and Jackie get together in the first place because when I first met her, she was a really cool person and we've remained best friends ever since then. And that's why we get along so well because because what? Are you gonna cry? Because it's fun to be dorky and always to mess around with your partner. Yeah, it's nice to have like all the romantic stuff, the hugs and the flowers and all that. But to make the relationship more fun, we like to roast each other. <laughs> we like to be mean to each other and we like to just joke around because that's when it feels like you're dating your best friend. Seeing their goofy side really helps you continue the spark in the relationship of like having that goofiness and always laughing. Usually when you still act like friends, it still feels like you have a crush on them, so I feel like that makes more sparks. <laughs> Number five is a serious phrase. So the serious phrase is something that we created a while ago where we only use that word if we are being like dead serious. Like you can't lie. When you say I'm serious, you're saying the entire truth. So the first situation is if we think someone is going a bit too far, then we ask them if they're serious. 
So one time Isaiah was pranking me and it went a bit too far. So we made up the serious thing. That way, if we need to really ask them, wait, are you serious? Then they have to tell the truth like, nah, I'm not serious. So if Isaiah says, oh my gosh, I broke my leg, blah, blah, blah. And he's like trying to prank me. But like, I'm actually having like an anxiety attack. Like that's to the point where I'm thinking that he's taking it too far. So I have to be like, wait, are you actually serious? Because this is like making me panic. And then Isaiah would be like, oh no, no, I'm so sorry. I'm not serious. So that way he knows that I'm actually asking because now it's it's not a time to like joke around. So another situation is when we're working on our communication. So let's say Jackie is pushing me away and telling me to leave her alone. I have to ask her if she's being serious. And if she says yes, then I don't feel bad about giving her space. But if she says that she's not serious, then I know it's okay to still stay with her. Which is really good because if he asks me if I'm serious, that means I have to be honest. So that kind of forces me to stop playing games and just actually tell him what I want. like. Do I actually want you to leave me alone? Or am I just playing games to see if he will leave me or not? Number six, reasons to date. So there can be many reasons to date. It's all based on whatever you want. Like personally, you can date because you're just interested in a person you want to see where it goes, or you're just dating a person just to have fun. But really, the reason why I want to date is because I'm, I'm looking in the long term for a relationship because my intentions for dating is to hopefully marry that person. And I think that's the part that helps me improve our relationship. If I have those goals in mind, then I really think about what I'm gonna do to get towards that goal. Because usually when people people date they're really immature about their relationship and they kind of just let the little things get to them which is not good because if you want to marry someone you have to learn how to get through those bumps in the road because like marriage is not easy number seven is trust so in a relationship you have to understand that you can't be too overprotective you have to be able to trust your partner me and Isaiah are very trusting with each other like as long as we communicate about these things I'm very open to it and I try to like hear him out because for Isaiah, it's easier for him to get along with girls and for me, it's easier for me to get along with guys. Usually he'll have more girlfriends and I'll have more guy friends, but we have to trust each other because we know that we just like click better with the opposite sex. I would hate it if Isaiah got mad and overprotective and made me feel like I couldn't have any guy friends. So I wanna be more open and tell him that he could have friends that are girls. I also like how when Jackie meets someone new, she always tells me about this person. And I always feel like I'm included in the loop. So it doesn't feel like she's hiding anything from me. Because it's not that I have to tell you about my guy friends, but just the fact that I do on my own. It kind of like strengthens the trust that we originally had for each other. Same thing with him, I trust him, but I like to know about his friends. Number eight, friends together and individually. So when me and Jackie first got together, we didn't really have too many other friends that we hung out with. It was just always me and her. Like I enjoyed being with her, but I felt like something was missing. And then our senior year, that's when we met our group of friends. And it actually helped me and Jackie a lot with each other. It felt really good to socialize and make friends because it felt like we can branch out and like meet other people with different personalities. And it was just, it just felt like a great time to be with, with other people and have friends around. I feel like the more we were with friends the more energy we had like we got more excited about things and we were able to kind of be more open to being social but it's also really important to have friends individually because me and Isaiah were only friends with each other and it's good that we found a group that where we could have the same friends but it's also good to have individual friends like on our own because we have to learn how to socialize without each other it kind of makes me feel a little more independent and like a little stronger in my social life. That's why it's important to have friends both individually and together. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah guys that's it that is how we've been together for so long it was really hard to find these different tips but it really helped us in the long run and it's still helping us today and we're still learning more about each other and using these have made things easier for us to be together because <laughs> it's so difficult <laughs> and yeah that's about it i'll see you guys in the next video you take your time there's something about the love